Hey, it's been a moment. You haven't heard from me or the project in a while. I've been doing creative things and you've been supporting us, but I've been kind of crappy about communicating just how important uh, your support is. So I'm devoting some energy to keeping you in the loop from here on out. The Secret History of American River People project is still going strong, even after this weird COVID skip year. Uh, we had already planned to take the year off to write a book for the project, but I think looking back, it's a do-over. I got a little writing done, a few adventures, uh, some virtual exhibitions, but nothing like what I was hoping for. So more on that in a bit. Uh, the last big river we were on was the Ohio River. I drove solo across the country to Pittsburgh and launched on the Allegheny River, which became the Ohio in downtown Pittsburgh. Uh, we were nervous about the Ohio. We were told it was going to be an awful, ugly, industrial river. The only company, barges and tows and factories spewing pollution. Uh, but really, the Ohio is a big, beautiful river with lots of wild space between charming Midwest small towns. We met great people who shared bits of their lives and sometimes bucolic, sometimes conflictual Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky, and Indiana communities. We spent time in Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, and ended the journey in Louisville, where we had a big six-month exhibition at the awesome Portland Museum. It was an epic trip of over 600 miles, nearly 30 oral history interviews, hundreds of hours of video, thousands of photographs, and thanks to age, we caught some big fish. Uh, just so you know, when the shanty boat Dottie is not in the water, it's here, home back with me in the hills of California. It lives in the redwoods beside our little cabin. So some nights during lockdown, when we wanted to change a scene, we spent the evening in the shanty boat making dinner and curling up in our comfy loft bed up there. Uh, this is especially magical on nights when the rain is drumming on our metal roof and we're cozy inside. It's spring, uh, or at least it's kind of warmish and it makes us think of spring. That means we have our regular spring shanty boat maintenance to do. There's a few important things that need doing, the front rub rail, some hull repair, redo the propane lines, I forget what all. We keep a big list uh, while we're on the river to track all of the things that would make our lives better in the boat. So we'll check in about that when we get around to it. So if 2020 is a do-over, then next year we'll also take a break from field work so I can work on my book. Our next adventure is 2022. It's going to be awesome field work on the Atchafalaya River in Louisiana from Natchez to Nolens. We'll have plenty about plenty to say about that later. Uh, but if we're headed to Nolens, we have some of the unsexy administrative work to do, making contacts, arranging exhibitions, and route planning. That's the stuff that's a lot less fun to watch because it basically looks like me staring at a computer. But I'll keep you updated. So that's it. I'll let you know what's happening and what adventures you can look forward to soon. We'll see you out on the river.